Hey guys, welcome back. Today I am doing look number three, if I could get my fingers up, look number three with the Urban Decay Born to Run palette. And I'm actually gonna be doing two more looks with this palette. Today I wanted to do a look that was more colorful and bright. I know that the other looks I've done with this palette have been a little bit more neutral and wearable. If you guys would like to see how to do this look, then just keep on watching. I'm just gonna first prime my eyelids with my Urban Decay Primer Potion. I'm gonna go in with Still Shot for the crease shade. And I'm just using my Morphe M513 to blend this in my crease. I'm gonna use Guilt Trip, which is this really pretty purple. And I'm just applying that shade with this Wet n Wild shader brush. It's from the Breton and Rock collection. I want to actually intensify this purple so I just got some more of it on the brush and then I'm just going to mist it with a makeup setting spray. That's just always my trick to intensify an eyeshadow. And then I'm just going back with a smaller blending brush. This is the Real Techniques Essential Crease Brush. of the purple into the crease shade. I'm just going back with the purple. Just felt like I needed to blend the edge of it there. I am getting fallout with the purple so definitely that's the one thing about this palette. I, I do feel like some of the shades have fallout so definitely make sure to do your foundation after you do your eyeshadow with this palette. I'm gonna grab some of Punk and I'm just gonna pat that here. So I'm gonna use this shade to deepen up the outer V. And I got some more of Punk on this Morphe M506 and I'm just gonna blend that color here in the outer V. And then I'm gonna go back with some more Still Shot to blend everything. Got some more Still Shot, just blending that out. I might go back with some more purple. I don't know, I feel like I need to touch up the lid right there where it meets the punk color. All right, so I went ahead and put my clothes on, did my foundation and eyebrows. I'll link down below what I use. Um, but now let's go ahead and move on to the face and then I'll come back and finish the eyes. So, for my bronzer, if I could get it open, I'm going to use my Believe Beauty Bronzer in Hawaiian Glow. And I've got a cat hair on my face, no surprise. Then I'm just using my Morphe M437 brush to blend this bronzer. And then I've been debating what color I'm gonna use on the lower lash line. I was debating on whether I was just gonna do brown or if I wanted to do another color. And I think the scarf that I'm gonna wear today has like 
different colors in it but it also has green and purple and like orange so i think i might do green on the lower lash line i'm trying to debate and then i'm just using this wet and wild powder brush this is from their Pac-Man collection. I'm just blending around my hairline. Gosh, my neck is so white. Yesterday, Josh and I, we went over to a friend's house um, and they have a lake. And so, you know, we were outside in the sun. I actually hadn't really been outside too much recently. And I feel like my chest got a little red. But I did put sunscreen on, so. For my blush, I think I'm gonna do something like fairly like nude. So I think I'm just gonna use my Wet n Wild Rose Champagne blush. This is just like a go-to blush when I want something that's just very natural and neutral. It just goes with everything. And I'm just applying this with my Wet n Wild blush brush. I think I'm going to come back and do the highlight after I do the eyes because I might use the highlight I'm using as my inner corner. I'm going to grab this shade in Wonderlust, which is this green. And I'm just using my Morphe M430, M431 brush. This is such a dark green that I feel like you might not really be able to even tell that there is a color on your lower lash line. I'm just gonna use this short shader type of brush. And I might actually mix a little bit of Big Sky with Wonderlust. just to kind of give it more of like a green sort of look. I kind of feel like this is a repeat from last week on the lower lash line, but I'm gonna use Overdrive, the uh, Urban Decay 24-7 Glide-On Pencil on my waterline to try to help bring out some more of the green. And I'm actually gonna smudge a little bit of that on the lower lash line. To enhance it and if you didn't want to go with a color on the lower lash line you could always use a brown or even the purple I'm gonna take a q-tip and kind of blend this out a little bit because it got a little too far in too thick So for my highlight, I'm going to use this Becca highlight in Year of the Pig. It's a really beautiful, like, champagne, like, rose gold kind of color. And get my highlighting brush. I moved all my larger brushes in the back. I'm just going to use this Real Techniques contour brush. For the inner corner, I just grab some more of this Year of the Pig, and I'm just using my Real Techniques Detailer, Detailer, if I could talk, brush, and I'm just popping that here in the inner corner. And then I did decide that I want to do liquid liner, and I'm going to use this dark brown. This is from uh, Physicians Formula in the color Deep Brown. And then I'm gonna go ahead and mist my face with my makeup setting spray, and then we'll come back and I will figure out what color I'm gonna use on my lips. And I'll probably also just do my mascara on camera. Okay, and then I was debating on what color I wanna do for my lips. I think I'm gonna try this shade from Morphe, and this is in the color Shady. 
If this is too dark of a nude for you, like if it's too much with the eyes, you could always do like a really light nude like I did last week. Revlon, it was called Bear It All, I think. That would also be like a really pretty lip color with this, like a really light nude. But I kind of want to go for something darker, a little bit more edgy, kind of fall-esque since we're getting closer to fall. But before I show you guys my outfit, I did want to read you guys a little devotional. I told you all that I was going to start doing this in my tutorials. So this is today's scripture and then the devotion. What then shall we say in response to these things? If God is for us, who can be against us? Romans 8, 31. And then look up and sing. When you are tempted to look down in despair, may you instead look up and declare, My God is for me. Who can stand against me? When you are tempted to whine and grumble, may you instead dance and sing. When you are tempted to gossip or be petty, may you instead pray and intercede. God wants to bless the world through you. Look up today and rejoice. All of heaven is on your side. And I really like the little picture with this one. Like the pictures in here are just so pretty. Like this one for this day, I just really love that. Like how it's just like clear blue waters. So yeah, like sometimes, you know, things just feel like the world is against you. But if you put God first in your life, like he's gonna take care of you and you don't have anything to worry about because he's on your side. But yeah, I was gonna show you guys my outfit. Um, this might be more of like a outfit inspiration just because I don't really know if you can get some of these pieces anymore. I'm gonna take this down out of the window so you guys can see better. But I'm just wearing this top tank top today from Express. I have it in several different colors. Like you can wear it out, it's like kind of loose. But today I wore it tucked in with these jeans. And these jeans are not your not your daughter's jeans. Um, and I'll have to see if I can find these and link them down below. Like these are seriously like the most comfortable jeans ever. And if you're the type of person that you work out a lot like I do and have like larger like quads compared to like your waist and have a hard time like finding jeans that fit and feel comfortable, like these are like leggings but a jean. Like they're just so comfortable, like they're not tight and confining at all like in your quad um so yeah i just absolutely love these so if i can find them i'll link them down below and then i'm just wearing like my same mules um i don't even remember the brand of these but you can find black mules anywhere but something else that i'm gonna do i'm gonna take some layers with me today always gonna have layers but this is why i was like oh i could wear green because this scarf has got green in it like for my eye makeup oh i'm not used to seeing myself in this much makeup <laughs> i never really wear this much just with everything that's been going on i haven't really been wearing that much makeup <clears throat> but this is what it's like with the scarf I really like this scarf because it's very fall and you can wear it with like a lot of different fall colors. I got this at Kohl's last year. Um, not for sure if they still sell it, but I just love it. And then I'm going to wear this jacket. This is from Free People and I just, this jacket is the most comfortable, coziest jacket ever. And I'll link it down below because I just got it like, I don't know, a couple weeks back. So I know you could probably still get that. But this is what it looks like with the jacket. So, but anyhow. I hope that you guys did enjoy this tutorial. If you guys are enjoying my series on this Urban Decay Born to Run palette, give this video a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you will know as soon as I post a new video. But I hope that you guys have an awesome day today and I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.